what I carved away was the white, which is the snow and ice on the mountain. Then, what I'm going to do is print two more blocks, three different colors, and try to get them to line up correctly. <laughs> Believe me, registration is the critical part of color relief printing. And that means the paper and the blocks must line up exactly. I'm telling a millimeter off, throw it away. So first you've got to make sure the blocks are the same size. The paper is cut exactly right. And then I'll show you in a few minutes how I use it. For me, a guide. And I use two different ways to register the paper or the print so that if everything works out and my hand doesn't slip, it lines up the way it's supposed to. So, without further ado, I'm going to do Apply some ink to the second color. Now, here's the second block. This one is unusual for me in that when I was deciding the design, I decided that I wanted not just trees in the foreground at the end of the print, but some trees a little bit further away. So they'd be printed in a different color to separate them from the foreground. And because I thought about it in time, I was actually able to cut that into this block along with the stone and the mountain. So if I carefully ink it, I can print two colors at the same time. I've never tried that on another print. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I've printed this. <laughs> What I'm doing is carefully coloring the parts that I want in blue, trying to avoid the parts that I'm going to print in brown. Which, but I have a cheating. I can cheat. Which is good. Because trying to use a roller, I use a small roller because I have a little more control. But still, I am going to overlap one color in an area that I want in a different color. So I cheat. A little alcohol and I just wipe it off where it doesn't belong. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to carefully do the second color. Remember, these are the trees that aren't in the foreground, but they're just beyond the foreground. All right, carefully. Don't smear it. Now, after I've applied both colors of ink, I will go back and go over them both again. You want to make sure you have enough ink, but not too much. If you put on too much, it smears. If you don't have enough, kind of get light spots, which may or may not matter too much depending on the, the print and the area. For example, if I had a light spot down here in the foreground, it wouldn't matter too much because I'm going to print over. Now when I print the, the last color, if that's got light spots, that's a problem. All right, folks, everybody's got to go that away. way because I'm going to use that press. What I've done to help me line up the paper and the plates 
is I've made this guide. And what I do is I, the plate gets, has to fit snugly here. Okay. Now I gotta, I'm like trying, I'm shoving that plate up as snug as I can to that guy. Take off the gloves so I don't, in case I have any ink on there, I don't have ink on paper. This method, now I line the paper next carefully. This is one way of registering a multicolored, multi-block print. It's one of the two methods I use. And uh, like I said, if my hand shakes and you're off just that much, out the door with the print. The other thing, the mistake I make all the time, and then I use those words. I'm lining up the paper, but I let, before I get it perfectly lined up, it touches the print, yeah. the plate. And then I get ink where I don't want it. Again, out the door. So, hold your breath. So, I'm going to try to line this one up. I have a question. Yep. Oh. This needs. <laughs> well, I line them up from the bottom to the top. Oh. Now I'm lining up this end of the paper against the guide. It's being trying to be very careful that I don't lay it down before I'm ready. Now I think I've got it about right. And we hope for the best. Next I press down on it. Because the ink is wet and it acts sort of like a, an adhesive to hold to grab onto the paper. So when it goes through the press, the, the plate is up against the guide. It can't move, but the paper could. But by pressing down on the ink, that helps to glue the two together, sort of. You know, like sticky, little stickies? Like that. But then I put on another sheet of paper just as an extra layer. Slide it in on another board. <coughs> then I hold, I still, to prevent slipping, I hold it, roll the press slowly. Okay, now move my fingers. <laughs> Registering a print, which I'll show you now. The last block, which I carved, are just the trees for the foreground. So what I will do is I will ink that color the paper in this block. The first time I lined the block. This time I'm going to line, I'm going to just lay the paper down. Then as careful as I can, I'm going to lay the block on the paper. And I don't want to sneeze. I'm trying to line it up very carefully on both the bottom and the two sides. Close. Okay, now press down again to prevent slippage. Put the other paper on. Slide this in a little bit. Well, the only reason I slide this, so when I crank it out the other end, this block is actually all the way out. Otherwise, it's still under the roller. Yeah. And if I remove my hand in time, I don't look like Daffy Duck. Mm -hmm. Now, 
carefully lift the block off without smearing anything. Can see in there? In a very quick you know, demonstration, three extra colors, and if, and if you count the white, the five color print. The white is from the papers. Right. The yes. white is what it is yeah. the paper yeah, itself is showing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, that is Thank you very much.